I started shooting photos about 30 years ago, just before my son was born. And um, the intent was to shoot photos of his growth and then my daughter's, but I guess my interest became more wildlife than, than uh, people, and it's, it's just progressed from there. Kip Ledegi can't tell you how many photographs he's taken of Iowa's wildlife, but he can tell you how many he's kept. He says in the 30 years he's been taking pictures that he has just shy of 190,000 images on file. With that many photographs, it shouldn't be a surprise that he spends a lot of time outdoors. I used to hunt and fish a lot, um, but it was when I was up in the tree stand seeing other things that I wasn't hunting when I realized, boy, there's, there's so much out here to, to share with others that I started to carry a camera. And uh, I quickly learned that I can't carry a camera in one hand and a, a bow in the other hand and do either one of them very well. I had to decide which one am I going to do, which one am I going to concentrate on. I still hunt a little bit, but mostly it's I hunt year-round with a camera now with my Nikon. Ledegi works in Bremer County as an emergency management coordinator, where he assists agencies as they plan, train, and respond to disaster situations. Emergencies that range from fires and tornadoes to missing persons and hazmat spills. I've got a, a, a job that tends to be stressful at times and, and uh, when I go out in the woods I can put the job behind me and, and just sit and, sit and watch. I spend a lot of time watching, more time watching than I do shooting. Ledegi enjoys photographing anything wild and he will point his camera at whatever catches his eye, even if he's busy shooting a different subject. On one occasion he was shooting a troop of fox pups when he noticed an unusual butterfly. I was, uh, I was actually working at a fox den and noticed a, a, an unusual butterfly. And I didn't even know that the American snout butterfly existed, but I stopped everything I was doing with the fox and just got fascinated with the butterfly because I didn't know butterflies had snouts like this one does. So um, I learned something that day and, and you just keep an open mind and there's something to see. There's a wide variety of wildlife in the nearly 190,000 photos Ledegi has saved. His collection has just about everything, including backyard songbirds. He does, however, have one subject that he's particularly fond of. If the weather's cooperative, give me my kayak, put, a, put a, my uh, camel blind on top of it, let me go shoot great blue herons. Uh, I've, I've got a fascination with great blue herons. I've got probably thousands and thousands of images of great blue herons, but there's, there's always room for another one. When he's out shooting, Kip covers his camera and wears camouflage. He says it's not always needed, but there are situations where it makes a difference. When I'm doing uh, great blue herons or the, or the water species out there, especially early in the season when they first moved into the, you know, migrated up, they're not used to me being out there. So then I'm in full camo and it could be, it could be a ghillie suit or it could be, it could be what I'm wearing now. I sometimes even wear a mask uh, just to, just to break the pattern up. but. Um, you don't need the camouflage, but I, I tend to believe it helps, especially if you want to get close for photos. Ledegi says every night he works for at least an hour on his photographs and website. He keeps a database of all his pictures that he says helps him better understand the wildlife he's shooting and makes him a better photographer. And his website is a way he can share his work with others. My website's a large collection of images that's broken down either um, you can search them by categories, mammals, birds, and then, and then further broke down. I have posted pictures every day for the last, um, I believe, four years now. Generally, I try to make that wildlife, but with life, sometimes it's something different than that. Um, and, and then I also almost daily post just a general blog type entry, I guess, of uh, thoughts that hit my mind. It might be wildlife, it might be my granddaughter, it might be work related, who knows, but uh, I guess kind of, kind of put myself out there in the open and let people get a snapshot of my life. Kip's work has been published in numerous magazines, but he's also self-published. The photos and thoughts that he posts on his website has turned into a series of books which are titled Moments with Iowa's Wildlife. Ledegi has also written a book that identifies the birds found at backyard feeders in Iowa and another that teaches the alphabet using things found in nature. I've seen so many things, and I, I've I've been blessed to 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 witness the, the the maturing of fox at the den, and and a couple years ago, 
got to watch as the trumpeter swans were hatching and, and the, when the little, little swans climbed over the nest and went into the water for the first time. And there's something about those interactions that, that I, I, it's hard, words don't describe it, but it's just, it's fascinating. It's addicting, it draws you back day after day.